Can we all just let that season five hurt go? Let it go. Move on. Let's stop talking about it. Let's get into this review though. on y'all this be your boy scott by nature tv and we're here for another review of the real housewives of potomac okay now as you guys already know i've been on vacation i left out early 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 friday morning i got home tonight right at the 30 to 45 minute mark of potomac so i had to rewind and then watch it from the very beginning so i can give y'all a review yes i've only been home for about a good little almost two hours at this point but yes i'm back at work ready to give y'all some content okay so before we get into tonight's episode let me just say one thing okay and this is probably gonna be my last time doing this because i don't want to constantly keep addressing negativity and because i'm trying to evolve and stop focusing on the negative comments and stop cursing so damn much i'm really trying it's really hard like people say I'm loud and I cuss too much. Now, I'm loud as hell. I'm going to be loud regardless. I mean, I'm from the South. We, I'm from the country. We loud. So, I'm going to be loud so y'all can hear what I'm saying, okay? Now, the cursing part, I know that I need to work on the cussing. And I feel like I've been doing a good job as of lately. Now, when it comes down to the boosty videos and the baby, uh, y'all going to get the cussing because it, it makes me piss. It pisses me the hell off. So, yes, I'm going to curse quite a bit on some videos. But just give me the damn, you know, just give me some kind of um some kind of credit for making the attempt to stop cursing so much. That's that's okay. But however, what I really want to talk about is the fact that people are um steady coming at me about season 5. Let that season 5 hurt go. Stop saying that I'm team Monique and was team Monique all throughout the damn season cuz I was not. Um, I have not backpedaled. My opinions on the fight itself remain the same. However, um, it is what it is. We have all moved on. We're in season six. We don't care about season five. Let's stop talking about it. Because at the end of the day, I am team no one. The only person that I like the most is Karen. And she lies a lot. So, that's not really much. I hate when people try to call me while I'm doing a video. But she lies a lot. So, that's why I can't necessarily be on her team too much. Because she she lies too damn much. So, I got to be impartial. So, I'm pretty much, you know, when it comes down to it, I like Karen the most. You know what I'm saying? I like Karen the most. And then it follows, who follows behind Karen? Probably Wendy at this point. And then probably um, Anonymous after Wendy. You know what I mean? So that's who I like the most. But let's stop talking about season five. Let's stop bringing Monique into the comment section. And let's not praise me for, for certain things on one video. And then you go under my colleagues' videos, like Rodney videos, to try to pop shit on me. Like, y'all need to stop doing it. Because regardless of anything, regardless of if, if, if we as YouTubers agree with each other or not, we still fuck with each other. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop trying to be divisive under these comments. Stop it. We all fuck with each other. Regardless of, we all know what everybody's stances are, but we still fuck with each other. Rodney has worked with me. Brooke has worked with me. So many, so many people that I be seeing y'all under their comments trying to dog me out and some other YouTubers out. We all fuck with each other. We all work with each other. It's, it's all love over here. So stop trying to divide us. You know, I see that all the time. Let's leave season five where it's at. Please leave it where it is. Now let's get into tonight's episode because that's what's more important than some petty ass bullshit from season five, right? So let's get on into that. Okay, so um, it picks up where it left off last week with Candace and Ashley and their tired ass beef, okay? I'm so sick of them, but like I keep saying, Candace and Ashley are the same person. That is why they cannot get along. They're like oil and water because a lot of the time they, they have very similar personalities to me. I've, I've always said that and that's why they can't get along. That's why I don't understand why people be trying to put one over the other. Why people try to put Ashley over Candace. Why people try to put Candace over Ashley. It's all the same shit. They do the same damn thing. They both got foul mouths. They both say some fucked up shit to people. They are the same person and they just so happen to be trying to kill each other. 
I, I could care less about either one of them, to be honest. So, they could really kill each other for all I care. But, all I know is the shit is funny. But, Candace winds up apologizing to Ashley. My thing with Candace is, girl, you know you don't mean it. Just, you don't like that bitch. You said it because you wanted to. So, there's no point in you giving that damn apology. And then, Ashley don't want to accept the apology because it's quote-unquote backhanded. And it kind of is backhanded. If you really mean it, then just say, okay, my bad. I apologize for saying what I said. I ain't mean to body shame you or whatever. But girl, you was struggling to apologize to the damn girl. So I'd rather you not apologize and keep that shit all the way 100 because you don't fuck with Ashley. You don't like Ashley. So what's the fucking point of you apologizing to her ass anyway? You don't like her. Like, I wish that people on this show would stop apologizing to each other if they don't fucking mean it. Candace, you don't mean that apology. Move the hell on. You don't fuck with that bitch. You meant this you meant to call her wide body and big foreheaded ass. Just keep it at that. You don't fuck with her. Don't apologize. That's how I feel. So Giselle has to give her girlfriend Robin her props because it is her birthday. She tells her how much she loves her and all that good stuff. Whatever, okay? So, um, Mia gives Giselle Karen's message about the whole uh, Ray would be dead coming and how she feels that uh, Giselle needs to apologize to her for that. Giselle said that Karen would be dead before she apologized to her. Her and Ray would be dead before she apologizes. Here's my thing. Giselle keeps on saying that bullshit. Girl, stop saying it. Stop saying it. Like, yes, what you originally said that's, you know, Karen is re reaching on what you originally said. Yes, she's reaching. But, you know, you said it again the when you was in that kitchen with, with, with uh, Rob. And now you're saying it again. You really need to stop saying this shit, for real. Because it ain't cute. It ain't funny. Stop saying it. But my thing is, why is Karen filming a damn video for Surrey County in fucking Potomac? That just does not make any sense to me, and it just defeats the whole purpose. If you want to bring awareness to Surrey County, Virginia, why not film the video in Surrey County so people can really see what Surrey County is and what it has to offer instead of filming in fucking Potomac? They're just like me doing a video about my small town of Kent, Mississippi, but going to Jackson to film. Like, the fuck? As much as I don't like Giselle, I do like the fact that she has these real and raw conversations with her kids about love and marriage and how she does not want to put any pressure on her kids to get married, have kids. She just wants them to live their life at their own will and their own pace and um, be able to talk to her about any little thing and not feeling dependent upon a man. And, and if it doesn't work out, get all freaked out and stressed out because of the way that you take care of yourself or whatever. So... I applaud her for that conversation because girls need to hear that shit. You know, real talk. And I'm glad that she's not going to put any type of pressure on her kids because of the simple fact that mothers do that. A lot of them do that. They do be putting pressure on their kids and shit. They do be sitting up here um, saying, well, you need to get married first and have kids later or it's a sin to have kids. Do, you know, all that other stuff. Like, make them feel like shit because they didn't live the life that they wanted them to live or the life that they saw fit for their own kids. And they're not always going to move in the same direction as you want them to. And on top of that, it's like they're going to feel pressured to do the things that you want them to do. And sometimes you want them to do the things that you never got the chance to do. But you're putting too much pressure on your fucking kids. And that's one thing my mother never did either. She never pressured us to be who she wanted us to be because she didn't get to be who she wanted to be. That's living through your kids. And that's always the biggest mistake to do is to try to live through your children. What you want for them may not be what they want for themselves. So I applaud Giselle for that. So now Candace and Chris, um, they're back to arguing about how Chris feels unappreciated by Candace. And rightfully so. I mean, he's doing everything he possibly can for her. He's looking out for her best interest, but he also got to look out for his best interest, too. And I feel like Candace isn't, like, seeing that. She's not, you know, all it is, all she's doing is focusing on her and herself. That's it. Like, just because he's working for you and working around your schedule and doing things for you does not mean that he can't make a living on his own. Like, you just got to understand that because if he was a leech, that would be a problem. If you were taking care of him, that would be a problem. If you were giving him an allowance, that would be a, an issue. You know what I mean? So, I don't understand what she wants from Chris. At the end of the day, he, she does need to be mindful because he's, he's working everything out for you. He's doing everything for you. But in the same breath, he's putting his own shit to the side for you. Some women can't even get that. So, 
stop. Um, I like this conversation with Wendy, Eddie, and their kids, and the fact that um, their son wanted to know um, about um, Martin Luther King and, and just trying to think about ways to make this world a better place. And it just goes to show you how intelligent her kids are and what she's pretty much instilled in her kids. So, bravo to these women. They are great mothers. Bro. These kids are going to be somebody one day. Trust and believe me, they are. So, Karen and Ashley meet up. And, um, you know, she got a baby deal with her. And um, they start talking about Karen apologizing to Giselle. Ashley just needs to shut the fuck up. I'm tired, I'm tired of everybody walking around here trying to make everybody apologize to Giselle as if she does, as if she gives everybody else that fucking courtesy. Like, she don't, she's not owed no fucking apology. Fuck Giselle. Because she keep on saying this dead comment. Fuck Giselle. Like, all that shit she's done to everybody else. Like, she, she really feels as though um, it's the point of no return because Giselle, because Karen said something about Jamal. You says... You said something about everybody's man on this fucking show. You and Ashley. And the both of y'all be the main ones requiring an apology from somebody. Get the fuck out of here. See, I just said I was going to stop cussing. See there? So now it's, now it's time for this lunch because I could care less about Robin's therapy session, really. Um, they was talking about Can uh, Candace's video. And, um, you know, everybody asked, was Ashley invited to the video shoot? Can uh, Candace said no, which... Rightfully so, she don't fuck with Ashley. Ashley said, we just gonna respect each other's space. As they should respect each other's space. I don't invite you to my shit. You don't invite me to yours. If we are invited by a mutual party, that's fine. It is what it is. Um, she started talking about the video extras. Everybody but Ashley is a video extra in Candace's video. Um, then Mia wanna have this damn ice breaking thing where they all talk, say nice things about each other. Candace and Ashley struggle to say nice things about each other with, when I just, but I could just, I, I was going to say when I could just, when I just feel like they shouldn't have said shit, but at least they did it. You know, at least they did it. Um, Robin complimented Karen, gave her a whole lot of kudos when it came down to Wendy. She kept it short and sweet, and she said she admires how she's protective over her family, but in the same breath, she supported Giselle, who was, you know, putting rumors out there about said family. Okay, Robin. Anonymous compliments Karen and Giselle, um, but then when it came down for me to ask Giselle what she likes about Karen, Giselle couldn't say shit about Karen because they're beefing, immature. Um, then she starts to address the issue with Wendy. Um, she just... I, I just feel like Giselle just don't get it. Like, you brought this shit to the cameras. That's why Wendy is upset. Um, you did not pull her to the side to talk about it. That's why Wendy's upset. The same reason why you're upset with Karen for speaking on Jamal. Like, you only under, you don't understand until it's you, bitch. That's the only time you understand. Then, uh, when she says, I'm not the type to try to mess up families. That's Karen. So when she calls out Karen on that, that's when Candace was like, Okay, I just feel like I think the reason why you're so upset with the people who said what they said about Jamal is how they said it. Um, then Giselle admits that the tea that Monique spilled from her binder was not new to her. And, Ken and Ken was like, well, why didn't you just say that? And it's just like, yeah, why didn't you just say that? Like, you already knew. So either you already knew the tea and you're saying that now or you never knew about the tea and you're only saying it now to try to save face. I don't know. But if you already knew about it, then why the fuck are you so damn mad because somebody brought it up? Because my thing about it is, if I already knew this T already and Jamal already told me and somebody brought it up to me at a reunion to try to make me, try to bring me down, I would have said, girl, I already knew this, girl. Bring up something else. This ain't shit to me. Like you, like you took all the time to dig, but I already knew about it. Girl, you didn't know about this shit. You didn't know nothing about it, okay? You're just trying to save face and that's it. And to me, you know, Karen apologized to, to, to Giselle, and Giselle never apologized to Karen. At least I don't remember her apologizing, but they both agreed to wipe the slate clean. I'm tired of Karen and Giselle. Either you're going to be friends or you're not. That's just it. Because we already know Candace and Ashley ain't going to be friends, and that's just what it is. But with that being said, y'all, this is my review on Potomac. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Do, the, do whatever you see fit. And also, click the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I drop a video. Also, if you want to follow me on any form of social media, be sure to follow my Twitter and my IG. All in the description box below, okay? And I do follow back. So, all you got to do is DM me on Instagram. 
and say hashtag Team Scotty, and I will definitely follow you back because I do follow back my Team Scotty people. With that being said, you guys, you boys out of here until my next video. I'll holler at you later. Peace out. We can always find our way to a fun moment, even in the shady bunch. Thank you.